Welcome to a guide to assistance video on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay then, pigs and pig food. What I thought I would do with the release of a couple of new mods over the last couple of days um, is have a look at the best option for pig food. Now, a couple of provisos on this video. One, if you don't care about using pig food, if you've got loads of money, if you've cheated money in, if you're using government subsidies and you're not bothered about how much pig food costs, then it's irrelevant to you. Uh, you know, so I'm just putting that out there. If it doesn't bother you, then it doesn't bother you. However, if you are a more discerning customer and the sort of person who is looking at the best option, the cheapest option, if you're going to be feeding your pigs pig food, this is probably going to help. Now, obviously, you can feed your pigs normal crops and you can make up their pig food by putting normal crops into the trough. However, a lot of times the crops you're feeding them are actually worth more to you if you sell them. The problem has always been, though, up until now, that the pig food itself is actually fairly expensive. So even if you do sell your crops and make money, you're still paying out a lot of money then for the pig food. So it's a bit of a kind of dilemma which way do you go with it. This is focusing solely on the pig food, not on separate crops. OK, so I've got one pig. What does it actually take for one pig if we use our pig food? Now, what we'll do is have a quick look in the menu. So if we go to animals, we've got our single pig, just one lonely pig there. Cleanliness is fine, it's got water, it's got straw, but no food yet. And like I say, you can feed them individual stuff. You can give them corn, wheat or barley, soybean, canola or sunflower, potatoes or sugar beets. So any of those things, and that will take your productivity up. That's the whole point behind it. But what you can do is give them pig food instead, and that will fill up those bars, but it fills them all up at a slightly different rate. What I'm going to do is tip a load in and see how much it actually takes to fill those bars up for one pig when those bars are full that pig is okay for 10 days the trailer had 12,000 litres in it to start off with We've got green bars on three of them already. And the potato sugar beet side of things seems to be taking it well. Each of those are going to hit a thousand then. So realistically, 4,000 litres for one pig for 10 days. Now it's going to get through those at a slightly different rate. But in essence, that's what you're looking at. Obviously, you then multiply that up and you've got 20, 30, 50, 80, 100 pigs. It's a lot of pig food to get through. So the point about that is we need a cheap alternative. We need a way around this. And unfortunately, up until now, there weren't really any cheap alternatives. So what I'm going to do is look at the alternatives we've got and we'll work out which one is the best one. Now, I kind of mentioned this in the mod review yesterday. Um, and this was because of the mods that came out over the last couple of days. So our first option then is the standard in-game grade A pig food big bag. Um, if we have a look in here, under big bags, it's the first one, pig food big bag, 1,000 for 1,000 litres. So to fill up that trailer I've got, 12,000 litre trailer, it's going to cost me 12 grand. So that's why I've got 12 of these out to fill up that trailer. I mean, obviously, you know, depends what size trailer you go for. I'm just using the 12,000 litre ones because it's going to give me um, a decent enough price. Plus, it's also divisible by the size of these ones. We'll see that in a minute. So, 12 pallets at a grander pallet. That's 12,000. So, that's our first baseline. Um, 12,000. So, that's what we're looking at as a kind of initial. If you're just playing the game with no mods, it's going to cost you 12 grand if you fill up that 12,000 litre trailer. So, one of the mods that came out on Monday was this. Now, these are the Pioneer Pallets by Agrotechnik Nordifel. And there's a whole selection of them, but one of the pallets that's available is a pig food pallet. Each of these pallets is 2,400 litres. So, two and a bit of these on one of these. So, to get 12,000 litres, you need five pallets. That's why I've got the five pallets in front of me. Now, price-wise... If we go into store, these are under the pallet section. Let me scroll across. 
and we have got the Pioneer Fertiliser Lion, Pig Food Oats, and, and we've got Wheat as well, I think, yep. So the Pig Food one is 1,650 for 2,400 litres. So for 12,000 litres, that's going to come out at, if I've got my maths right, 8,250. That's actually not too bad at all. That's considerably cheaper than 12 grand. That there, 12,000. That there, 8,250 for the same amount of pig food. That's a considerable saving. I'm liking that a lot. So as it stands at the moment then, that's your standard in-game. This is the next best price we've got so far, but we've got some other things to look at because we've got some other options available to us in-game, which I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you now. So lined up here, we've got three other options that are available for console at the moment. Now obviously on PC, I don't know if it's available yet, I know it was on 17, there's the pig food machine where you put stuff in, it makes pig food, and there are probably other mods as well where you can do this, but these are the ones that are available on console at the moment. So the first up we have got here, this is the food, feed, food and fertilizer shops. So this is the food and fertilizer shop, this is by Castiga and Edge uh, Gaming or edge modding, edge gaming I think it is, um, and you can buy seed and fertiliser and you can buy feed here, but there is a fee, there's a kind of an additional percentage that goes on top with this as well, so what we're going to do, we're going to check this one out first and see what our equivalent 12,000 litres is going to cost us, so I'll press that, pig food start, let's fill up, very quick fill speed on this, so you're kind of looking at all the options available, and that just came in at... 18,480 wow okay that's actually quite expensive so in-game pallets 12 grand pioneer pallets by agrotechnic nor difle 8,250 for the same amount this one the food and fertilizer shop by castiga and edge gaming for 12,000 liters 18,480 that's a lot okay so then next up we've got the edge, um, there was this, the multi-filling station, edge grain silo, whatever you want to call it, but um, this is also by Castiga and Edge Gaming. I'm actually wondering whether it's going to be the same price considering they're made by the same people, maybe, what are we are going to see? So let's go for pig food, again quite a quick fill speed which is always a bonus. 12,000 litres, 18,480, exactly the same. So both of those mods by Castiga uh, Edge Gaming both came in at 18,480 for the same amount, 12,000 litres. Okay, which brings us on to the mod that came out yesterday. And this is by Holger Sengstock. Uh, this is the pig food, tr or part of the pig food trading system. You've got the buy point, which is this one here. There's a storage point and there's a selling point as well in that pack. Um, so let's have a look and see what this is going to cost me for 12,000 litres. Now straight off the bat you can see the pour speed is much slower than the two edge gaming ones. But we are getting there. I'm going to put that up a little bit so we can see the grass otherwise we're not going to get a good uh, indication. Nearly there. 8,399. Wow, okay, that's way, way cheaper. Right, so actually I can just leave it there, that's not a problem. So that puts that in second place, if I'm not mistaken. It does, yeah, second place. So, our options for pig food, if you want to go down the pig food route, I've always stayed kind of clear of it as best I can because I always thought it was quite expensive getting it from the silos. But these last two mods that came out Monday and Tuesday, um, the Pioneer Pallets by Agrotechnic Nordifel and the Pig Food Trading System by Holger Sengstock. Um, the Pioneer Pallet one came in at 8,250 for 12,000 litres. This one just came in at 8,399 for 12,000 litres. Hardly anything in it really between those two. The Pioneer Pallets do come out cheaper. And the other thing you need to weigh up with that, if you are going to go down this route, is because I thought straight away, well, yeah, but having the silos quicker, it's easier, you haven't got to muck around with pallets. Um, 
but that said you have to pay for the silo in the first place so you have to pay for it to be placed and i think these are 75 grand so if you want to look for the absolute cheapest option it's the pioneer pallets hands down you don't have to have a silo you just buy the pallets you put them down you fill up your trailer from them and away you go they're cheapest by far but if you want to go down the silo route and you still want to stay cheap then it's the holger seng stock um pig food trading system uh, the great thing with these as well is if we just whiz back to here we can just pull up alongside press l3 now you can go realistic and you can kind of pick them up with pallets and uh, with pallet forks and whatever but if i press l3 and what's great about these as well is the bags gradually remove as they go down i love that i really do like that about this mod And there we go, our trailer is filling up gradually with our pig food. 2,400 litres per pallet. So those are your options, and that wins it hands down. That's by far the best option, cheapest option. You haven't got to worry about silos, placeables, you know. But if you want to go down maybe ease of use, you might want to put the placeable, then I would say the Holger Seng Stocks um, pig food trading system. Uh, that said, as I said right at the very start of the video, if you don't care about finances, if you've put millions into your map and you really don't care then it's irrelevant you can use any of them it really doesn't matter what you go for um but there you go hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching <laughs>